The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of Bayanihan Broadcast Media and the management. The Super Lolo Show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Welcome to the Super Lolo Show, where age is just a number and love is an adventure. Sabi nyo. Now, the show aims to address holistic well-being, the mental, physical, spiritual, financial, and relational. So, marami tayo mga jokes na yung dito here. Thank you. And this coming episode, may mga special jokes tayo. Okay, so, ang kabayan lang po natin yan. Now, uh, later, later we will be welcoming my co-host, walang iba kung di si Beth Raul Palma. And, uh, I'll be later sa studio niya. In the meantime, in the meantime, I want to share with you isang bagong topic na magiging regular sa atin. Yung tinatawag na exercise of the day. Okay ba sa okay ba sa inyo? Exercise of the day. Ito ito, dito na nga ang dyan. I accepted the challenge of my two uh, Brads, but they are masters of the martial arts. No? Uh, una una si Maestro Reni Ruff. Okay. At saka si uh, Edwin Muhammad Rendon. Mga parehong maestro yan. At mamiya, uh, sasabihin ko kung paano sila uh, makukontak ni Safety Rings FB. Um, they asked for a challenge. They posted a challenge sa mga uh, kapwa nila, no? mga kapwa nating mga athletes or mga normal, no? sabi nga mga uh, everyday people. And uh, I'm going to represent the senior. Okay? Ang challenge ay ganito. Mag-push up. Yun lang. Mag-push up everyday or regularly para maging habit. By the way, ang push up is very, very important. Okay, kay lalaki man, kay babae, but ang push-up kasi, done correctly, strengthens most of the muscles sa chest, sa arms, at sa ka-importante, yung tinatawag na core. Bakit po importante yan, especially sa mga senior citizens natin? Importante yan for everyday life. Ang walking napakaganda. Maganda sa paka, maganda sa legs, maganda rin sa cardio. However, siyempre tayo ay marami pang ginagawa katulad ng nagbubuhat, nagtutulat, okay? Paminsan-minsan, kailangan natin gawin yan. So, we need to strengthen also yung upper body. Kaya, kailangan natin mag-push up. Mag-live ako, mag-push up po ako, papakita ko sa inyo ngayon ah, uh, Uh, tamang paraan ng pagpapusap. But then, merong nag-message sa akin ng uh, in one of my uh, FB reels. No? Ang sabi, eh, matagal na ako, senior citizen ako, matagal na ako hindi nagpapusap. ROTC pa ata ako nagpapusap. So, pwede pa ba akong bumalik? eh hindi ko na kayang mag-push up kahit isa. Wala kong problema yan. Okay? Ang papakita ko sa inyo ngayon ay step by step ngayon para makapag-push up. Okay po? Ngayon, ganito. Ang push up na gagawin natin, pag hindi nyo kaya, huwag nyo gagawin. Okay? Pag make sure na Safe tayo, very convenient yung suot ninyo. And I will show you 
how to do it. Do not force it. The moment, the moment na may maramdaman kayong hindi maganda, ibig sabihin, you know, na inaipot, tigil mo na. Okay? Let those sa kaya, let's proceed. Okay? Now. Uh, I'm going to do a beginner's push-up like I did last time. Okay? I am on my knees. Don't forget na maglagay ng, ng mat or konting cushion para hindi masakit. Okay? Dito sa inalim. Pero ako, I'll do away with that. Okay? So, ito yan. I am going to use push-up bars. Pero pwede rin wala. Set aside ko muna yan. Okay? And I will do this. Ang important, ang important is naka-straight ang kamay. Shoulder width, counting lampas sa shoulder if you're comfortable with it. Okay? Yan ang basic, ha? Yan ang basic. Pagkatapos, go down slowly. Yan. Tingnan nyo may gay, ha? Go down slowly. Then, go up. Yan. Explain sa inyo ito. Okay? Okay. So, yun ang ano, yun ang tamang form, ano? Kasi, una natin na uh, isipin na uh, iwasan natin ang injuries at saka yung overstretching ng muscle. So, yun sa exercise na push-up na yan, you are strengthening your upper arm, your core, Okay, and your chest. Okay. Kasi kahit na senior na tayo, eh, nagbubuhat pa rin tayo ng iba-ibang bagay, ano? Okay. Lalo na yung mga apo natin. Oo nga, no? Oo nga to. So, kailangan meron tayong uh, at least konting uh, strength at saka stability ng arm at saka ng core. Okay. So, Doc, ang gagawin ko ngayon, so that was the basic push-up, no? Now, we're going to do the push-up, pero I'm going to use push-up bars. The reason for that is, mas stable siya. Okay? But you can do without it. Ako gagamitin ko lang. So, same principle, same principle, okay? Shoulder width, a little above, uh, a little... Wider than shoulder width, konte. Now this time, instead yung knees ko ay tumatama sa floor. This time yung knees ko yeah. nagataas. My body is straight. Okay. Tapos, ayan. Yung core, yung sinasabi ni Doc, na core muscles ay tense. Okay, so I'm going to do my first push-up. Panuri nyo. Down. Okay. Up. Down. Up. Yung okay. core muscles, yung abdominal yan. Now, maraming variations. Pero ito, you can widen your stance ng konti, yung sa paa. But always maintain a straight core position. Hindi na kaganyan, ha? Ganyan. Okay, I'll do 10. That kind of uh, lifting your lifting your knees now. Uh, you also strengthen some leg muscle. Yes. And foot muscle. Mm. Now there are also variations for the forearm. Okay, I'll just do ten. Okay. Eto yung gagawin mo na major advanced. Pero for those who can already do 10, 20, 30 push-ups. 
Eh, pwede nyo gawin to Using fingers. One. Two. Same principle. Okay, same principles. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Five. Ten. Okay. Medyo pinagpawis kami tayo dyan. But anyway, push-ups, like I said, our exercise for the day is not that complicated. Pero hindi mo kailangan ng gym. Kailangan mo lang yung, you know, small area. So you will see, na ito, bukod sa nakakapagpapawis, it's strengthens the triceps, the arms, the feet, the core, and the chest. Okay, so you will be having more of that, especially every Monday, and then I'll tell you the next week's time of the day. Okay, so we're going now to Dr. Palma because we have a very, very exciting topic to do. Very, very common one. There is our myth of the day. And the myth of the day, it's the one that we have to do. Hindi naman pala ito eh. Pero matagal na natin na pinapindi yan. Yan ang itatato ng ating doctor, Raul Palma. Wow. So that was our exercise for the day. Uh, yung ginawa mong unang-una, yung uh, nakasayad yung tuhod. Actually, dun sa mga beginners, o oh, yung talaga hindi naman nagpo-push up natin, eh, uh, they can go on with that for some time. Okay? So, itong uh, pacing natin na tinuturo ni Coach Gus, eh, according to your, ano yan, self-improvement, according to your pace. Okay? The, 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 you know, the principle here is to avoid the uh, injury. At the same time, strengthening your muscles. For everyday, no, no, for everyday activities. Magandang araw po sa inyo. At napakaganda ng ating topics na po si yung miss at saka yung ating pag-uusapang sakit. Yeah. Dok, baka may babatiin mo na kayo. Ay, ano mo lang muna, babatiin ko muna yung aking mga kabatchmate kung pwede. Of course, Dok. This is your show. <laughs> This is our show. Our show. Oh. At gusto uh, ko lang uh, shout out yung aking mga batchmates sa UST Faculty of Medicine and Surgery at our coming Ruby celebration December 14 to 17 okay uh, uh, hope to uh, to see all of you mag uh, mag ready na kayo ng inyong mga sayaw at mga arthritis alisin na masaya <laughs> nyo I'm sure, Masaya. This is the, uh, how many years now? 40 years, Ruby. Ruby, 40 yeah. years. Wow, what, what an achievement. Okay, okay, so, uh, again, I'm going to shout out po si Dr. Thank you, thank you. Magandang event po yan. And I thought, let's go now to our myth of the day. Okay? Yes. Sabi nga kanina, malapit na ang tablamig. So, cold weather, cold, pagbabasa ka ng ulan, makes you sick. Kailangan eh, and for all, ma-explain natin sa kanila. Okay. So, sa kanila, okay, Uh, malamig na, kailangan 
kahanda na yung jacket mo at saka sweater. Okay? At... Ganun din pag umuulan, di ba? Sabi, kailangan eh, hindi ka mabasa ng ulan at pa, nasa loob ka lang ng bahay. Okay. So, totoo ba na pag malamig o oh, yung malamig at ulan mismo eh, magkukos ng sakit katulad ng mga flu. Okay? At saka other respiratory disease. Okay. Ang sagot dyan, sa mahabang uh, pagsusuri ng uh, Center for Disease Control and Prevention sa Estados Unidos ay eh, hindi. Hindi totoo. Okay? Pero bakit daw nagkakasakit? Kasi pagka nga malamig, uulan, na lahat ng bahay. At mas malakas ang posibilidad, mas mataas ang posibilidad na yung virus na daladala lang ninyo sa katawan ninyo na usually hindi naman masyadong harmful o kaya ng katawan ninyo, pag kayo'y nag-ipon sa bahay, nagiging uh, congested, no? nagiging humid, at nagkakaroon tuloy ng pagkakataon ang virus na mag-multiply sa ganong klase ng environment. Kaya, kayo ay nagtago sa bahay at kayo ay hindi hindi lumalabas. Hindi ko naman sinabi magpaulang kayo o mag-expose mag kayo sa malamig. Kaya lang, kailangan, yun nga, may ventilation pa rin sa bahay. No? O, okay? Uh, hindi kayo masyadong crowded. O, kasi ganun din yan eh. Like, for example, umuulan. Ano? Dito sa Pilipinas, rainy season. Pag umuulan, anong ginagawa nyo? Sisilong kayo sa isang lugar, isang building, o oh, yung uh, restaurant, sisilong kayo. And maraming tao doon na sisilong kasama ninyo. Ayun, doon na actually nag spread yung virus. Kayo doon, nag doon meron ng, ano, meron ng uh, environment for the virus to multiply. At syempre, merong host. Kasi yan ang virus. Eh. Kailangan na buhay na cells. So imagine nyo kung madami kayo doon sa loob ng isang lugar, sumisilong, ayun na. Madami na kayong uh, oh, dami ng life sa pupuntahan. Okay. So, eto, pataan na yun. Let's say, nabasa, nabasa ko, di ba? I mean, uh, related doon, ha? related doon, nabasa. Pagkatapos, at tumasok ng bahay. Ang history sinasabi ng ating mga lolo, lola, o pati nanay, ay maligo ka pa agad para hindi ka magkasakit o something. Okay. Uh, siguro, sasabihin natin, there is a half-truth to that. Okay? And half-false. Okay. Kasi kung ang reason mo para maligo, if eh, na para ma-counteract yung pagkabasa mo galing sa ulan, okay? O galing sa lamig, eh, hindi naman totoo yun. Pero kung ang reason mo para maligo, eh, para luminis ang katawan mo, para pag ikaw ay nakihalo sa mga kasama mo sa bahay, eh, mas ang, uh, ang uh, possibility na may dala-dala kang mga harmful viruses, then that is true. Okay? So still, It's really not. It's really not the uh, per se. It's really not the water that can harm you. Okay. So by the token, na nagiligo naman, nagiligo naman tayo. So anyway, so the you asking does cold weather make you sick? The answer is no. It is the virus that makes you sick. It is the conditions around that makes you. Okay? So, yun po ating myth of the day. Last word. Uh, isa pang uh, uh, feeling or situation referable to the application is 
nagiging maginaw o malamig ang pakiramdam ng tao, di ba, Gash? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Oh, so, yun na. Sinasabi nila, nako, nilalamig ka, magkakasakayan. It's just something in our, it's just something in our bodies that we feel because we have cold receptors in our skin our skin so we feel that pero again most likely wala namang direct relation yung feeling of coldness doon sa pagkakasakit um pag nabasa, kaya ayaw naman maligo. <laughs> Ito naman yung kabalasaran. Galit, uh, galit yeah. na laro. Or whatever, nakasapatos. Tapasok sa bahay, magagayo, maligo. Kasi, basa. Tapos sasabi ni Lola, oh, teka, teka, teka. May magpahingitahinga mo muna yung paa mo. Kasi, nakakama, kasma. Uh, actually, wala din na yan. Wala din na uh, evidence-based uh, ano, uh, uh, both, both sa hands at saka sa feet. No? Walang, walang evidence-based explanation dyan. Maraming maraming salamat, Doc. Thank you. Naliwanagan po kami. At ito po, naliwanagan na rin. At uh, kasi madalas din po tayo mag-workout. Okay? And um, pinapawisan sa aircon. Lalo na po ang yeah. uh, gym ay uh, naka-aircon. Um, so at least marami tayong natutunan. Uh, but punta ngayon tayo sa pinakamain na topic. Ito, maraming kababakihan o kalalakihan pero mas marami ako nang nakikilala ng babae na meron dito. Ito ang main topic natin ay eh, tatalakay ni Bok. Okay, parali. Ang tawag po dito ay Bok Tang Ang or Bernari Track Infection. Tama ba Bok? Pa. Ah, tama ka. Ah, put. Ah. Things one No? For various reasons. Okay? So, unang uh, let us explain first yung konting anatomy. Yung genital region. Okay? So, alam natin na i ay nagawa ang ating kidneys or bato. No? Okay? So, galing sa bato, yung ginawang eh, bababa through the called the ureter. And from the ureter, pupunta yan doon sa pantog, yung bladder, urinary bladder, where it can be stored for some time, pero eventually, uh, 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 have increased pressure, and the brain will uh, send the uh, signals back or to empty now the blood empties itself dadaan yung ihi ko dun sa daanan ang tawag urethra okay sa lalaki yung urethra eh, may daanan structure tinatawag na prostate bago punta sa Uh, at lalabas na sa uh, lalabas sa are as urine. Sa babae, from the urinary bladder, uh, may lang yung distance 
ng urethra to the outside. Okay? So compared to the uh, compared to the men or the males, yung bae kaysa lalaki. So that is one another fact that uh, makes it makes UT more common among males. Kasi maikli lang yung urethra nila, yung bacteria o yung microorganism galing sa labas, mas madaling makapapasok doon sa babae. That's number one. Okay? Number two, mga causes ng uh, UTI, urinary tract infection, papasok ang microorganisms sa the external genital women. Okay? Sa men, uh, you know that we have a uh, genital penis na nag-extend outside. Okay? Mas, mas ano, yung separate yung ating na penis doon sa ating uh, anus. In, in the, yeah. Well, as a female, approximate, no? Medyo malapit. So, pagka, karong na pagkakataon na, you know, when you discharge your bowels and the, uh, medyo hindi maayos ang pagka uh, uh, linis, pagkatapos, pwede to the urethra of the female. Common. Okay? So that, the most co one of the most common, if not the most common type of bacteria that goes inside the urinary tract, eh yung bacteria galing sa anus, yung tinatawag na E. coli. Okay? So yun, isa yun. Pangalawa, yung uh, wearing of our, uh, no, our underwear. Kasi remember, of bacterial uh, uh, production no? and multiplication. So, yun nga, ina-advise nga nila na dapat medyo presko yung iyong uh, uh, innerwear or underwear. No? Yeah. And of course, siyempre, hygiene. Yung pagligo at paglinis. Ayan. And there are other factors like uh, hydration. No? Coach gas. To be well hydrated, oh, oh, so that you can uh, flush out, you can produce a proper amount of urine and flush out this uh, harmful bacteria. Yeah, so it's in mga predisposing factors, no? Okay, so what are the symptoms that you should watch out for? Okay, number one is uh, painful urination. Okay. So, tuwing iihi kayo, magkakaroon ng uh, uh, masakit na pagdaloy ng urine, pagdaloy ng ihi, masakit, ano? Okay? Uh, bukod dyan, meron kayong parang feeling na palagi kayong naiihi, pero konti naman o walang lumalabas, no? Yun yung tinatawag natin sa Tagalog na balisaw-saw. Oh, parang naiihita pero wala naman. Kaya konti lang. Yun. That is a sign of a urinary tract infection. And then of course, uh, yung free So you have to distinguish yung frequent urine from other illnesses like diabetes or prostate problem in the males. Okay? Ayan. 
first pwedeng magkaroon bleeding ano bleeding uh, sa urine pwedeng magkaroon ayan and have of course uh, constitutional symptoms like ayan ngayon yung uh, mga symptoms na yan eh, mo pwedeng wala kasi you know sometimes Uh, merong mga UTI na they resolve by itself, by themselves, tapos hindi natin. Pero kasi sometimes even if you do not have symptoms, uh, the bacterial population is still there. Uh, other okay, ang inagapan yung infection can go up your urinary tract sa bladder magkaroon kayo ng tinatawag na cystitis o umakyat doon sa kidney magkakaroon kayo ng tinatawag na pyelonephritis no In infection of the kidney so that is already serious uh, at the same time uh, kahit na nasa urinary tract yan It can also lead to, uh, you know, severe urinary tract can lead to sepsis or septicemia, infection of your blood. So that will be again a very serious situation that you should. Itanong ka ba sa kung sa symptoms, Coach Gas? So, dapat magpapagandang ng mga symptoms sa ganyan ay kailangan magpapagandang ka agad. Definitely. Pero dapat uh, umpisahan mo na yung mga other measures, no? Like increasing your your hydration, okay? Yung uh, hygiene, okay? Tsaka siyempre, you have to take something for the for the generalized symptoms like fever, no? Oh, you have to lower the temperature. And then, you have to see your physician, Uh, he will give you the thorough physical examination and advice on uh, the next thing to do. Okay? So, alam naman natin lang, usually, the social urinary tract infection, the doctor would want to see your uh, urine analysis. Okay? Urine analysis. Pero sometimes, a physician... Uh, even with the symptoms alone, can already start the antibiotics. Okay? And so, uh, magiging confirmatory na lang yung urina urinalysis. Pero usually, kung hindi naman, ano, uh, symptoms, maganda yung urinalysis to confirm it. Makikita yung urinalysis, uh, unang-una yung character of the urine, no? the urine will be cloudy, no? Okay, the urine will be cloudy, and then uh, uh, in the urine, uh, we can see uh, the loads of bacteria, no? Else, okay. and of course, you can also see red blood cells, may, may dugo. Okay, dugo sa urine. So, pagka nabigyan ng antibiotics, uh, and the patient becomes... Uh, Uh, asymptomatic, yun ang problema because madaming pwede after a few days of the antibiotics okay itigil nila the bacterial population is still uh, large enough to remultiply okay and when Uh, there will be a repeat of the infection. Ang problema, pagka bacteria ay hindi na matay lahat sa, dahil tinigil nyo ang antibiotic, they some... Okay. So, hindi na pwedeng basta-basta uh, ibigay ng uh, physician mo yung una antibiotic na binigay sa'yo dahil kakaroon na ng resistance. Okay? 
and you the physician may be forced to give you a, a higher kind of biotic okay. that be more expensive okay and then uh Uh, but I the concerns, you know, okay. Uh, actually, uh, wala naman talagang uh, dietary concern that have children or those uh, uh, pero actually, wala naman talaga. Okay. Okay, Bob. Okay. Uh, right, Bob, that's ano, no? Uh, kaya pala, the usual habit is kapag meron ano, Bob, no? kapag meron binigay ng prescription ng doktor, uh, example lang, example lang, sabihin nyo, oh, um, uh, 14 pieces, example lang, 14 options of XYZ, antibiotic. Eh, ang use na gagawin natin, di ba? Eh, tatlo muna bibilin. Di ba? Tatlo muna bibilin, eh, dun sa tatlo, maganda na pakaramdam. So, ang mangyayari, Oh, okay na, okay na feeling ko. Okay, hindi na ako. Okay, nakakalimutan ko na. That's the usual practice, di ba, Dok? Tama kayo. And anyway, so, ayun, Dok, ano ang tuloy mong advice tungkol sa UTI? Yes. Uh, as in any field, um, John is the best, no? So, good lifestyle practices, good hygienic practices, you should know, like in cleaning your, uh, uh, after, you know, after discharging your towels, you should, from the front, going backwards. If you are a female. Going backwards. Yes. Para hindi makontaminate yung, uh, yung urethra mo, yung yeah. Coming from okay. and, uh, you know, it's better to use uh no to clean uh, with soap and water. Okay. Use the use the bidet. Anyway, Doc, uh, let's take a break. Uh maraming uh maraming my absorb. Uh doing some skinabin news and you can because it's very, very common. Even among seniors, tamado. Oh, yes, definitely. So let's take a break, Una. Uh, Beth, okay. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Supplement all today. The Super Lolo Show. Yeah. Yeah. 
ready for this? Masyado natin, I mean, not even with nothing, eh? uh, pero hindi masyado natin namin sundihan. Micro. Micro. So, ano ba ang micro? Micro. Kasi meron na yeah. ako, micro, micro, hindi ko malama kung ano. Yes, thank you, Coach Gas. No? Uh, hindi natin pag-usapan dito ng mga dahil Uh, madaming hit na yung mga kung ano yung mga kiniinom nila mga suplemento okay yung mga kinakakain nila alam mo na everything is lumped into uh, nutrients like proteins carbohydrates and vitamins and minerals okay so first off sabi ninyong macro no? nutrients macro laki Ibig sabihin, you're referring to the carbohydrate na kinakain natin. Okay? A product in our body. Yung maliliit, yung micronutrients. Bakit sinatinatawag silang micro? Okay, not only because of the size of the molecules, but because we only need a small amount of these nutrients in our bodies. But it does not that these micronutrients play an important role in all metabolic processes in the body. Okay, uh, in fact, uh, 30, 30 of these uh, micronutrients are called essential micronutrients. Why essential? Because they are not produced by our body. So we have to get them from uh, food sources and your vitamin and mineral supplements. Okay, so example, uh, madami na tayo na discuss through the, through the different episodes. Calcium, iron, zinc. So these are all examples of micronutrients, no? And the vitamins, no? And vitamins A, B, C, D, and K. Uh, they are very important. Uh, they play a role in all uh, physiologic and metabolic processes. That and contraction of the muscle, uh, skeletal muscle, muscle. Uh, production of enzymes, breakdown of food, conversion of food to energy. Lahat yan, kailangan yung micronutrients. You can liken these micronutrients to an army of ants. Di ba? Yung ants, nakikita nyo, maliliit lang sila. Pero together, they, uh, they are beneficial, no? Uh, to, the, to the whole group. Uh, together, they are beneficial to the whole group. So, we need to source out our micronutrients from food. Uh, different foods are rich in different micronutrients. So, huwag niyong babaliwala in vitamins, no? Uh, madaming studies abroad uh, uh, regarding vitamins, no? And uh, they have uh, actually proven, although uh, some say it's controversial, I think there is more, more proof, no? there is more uh, clinical trial evidence that vitamins or mineral supplements uh, really help in maintaining the proper amount of these micronutrients in our bodies. So, yan, kailangan lang. Malaman ninyo, pagka kumakain kayo nito o umiinom kayo nitong vitamin ng to, you are helping your body uh, perform all its processes. And they, are, uh, they perform these processes in tandem with your big nutrients, protein, carbohydrate, and fats. Yan ang micronutrients. 
And then, uh, yeah, you know, sometimes we need to be reminded. Kailangan talaga. Ngayon, uh, ako, uh, I will ask yung mga anak. Ano yung mga anak? Yung mga ako. Kaya yun. Nasila mismo ang magpaalala sa kanilang mga lolo, mga lola, yeah. mga magulang na mag-take. No? Ito yung mag-take ng kanilang supplements, ng kanilang mga tamang pagkain. Kasi sometimes, kailangan may role din tayo. May role din yung mga anak. May role oh, yeah. din yung mga anak. May role din yung mga ako na magsabi na, oh, huwag yung kalimutan na i-take nyo ito. Oh, yung inyong gamot, yung inyong vitamins. It's also one way though of showing na mahal mo sila. Ngayon, kung hindi sila makabili, eh, ikaw na ang bilili. Di ba? Ang bilili sa kanila. So, ako, I'm speaking, you know, um, with some emotion also because, because uh, um, many, many of my friends, alam ko, um, sabi nga, um, ay nag-aalaga talaga ang mga kanilang mga anak. Mga ako, yes. I will remind you. Yeah. Tinitimplahan pa nga yung dakila na namin, ng salad, ng mga juice. Binag-blender. That's right, that's right. Very, very good. Uh, Ayan po. Ah, uh, yan din ko kalimutan. Tanawagan ko po yan sa mga, sa mga, ang anak ito ako ng mga super lolo at super lolo. Kung gusto nyo yung uh, quality of life nila ay uh, talagang uh, sabi nga o uh, mag, uh, mag-i-free. Then, huwag niyong kakalimutan. Okay? Yan ating mga... TNC. Kailangan ng TNC. TNC Tender Loving Okay. Yeah. So, that we come to the end again of our episode. Uh, we can go on and go on with tips, but okay, mag-alala. Meron pa naman regularly episode 8, 9, and so on. Okay, we will be looking forward to the next episodes. Yes, oh, look forward to the next episodes. Uh, tapos may mga guests, ang maganda niya, may mga guests tayo nila doon, no? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Guests, ay nako. Uh, Inahanda, inahanda ka uh, natin yan. Inahanda na na. Diba, Doc? Yes, inahanda na natin yan. Yeah, inahanda na natin yan. So, Ayun po, uh, nagpapasalamat po kami ni Doc, uh, kay Chairman Efren Rambo ng Panay. Uh, without him, thank you, Sir Kevan. Thank you. And uh, thank you also kay SVP Benny. But it's been, yan, uh, he's all over, sabi niya, napakasipag niya. At sa ating, sa ating uh, magigiting na uh, technical people. Technical staff at ang ating OIC for admin si Sir Benjamin Amba. Anyway, yes, sir. Uh, we'll end on this note. Uh, again, huwag niyong kakalimutan ang objective ng the uh, Super Lolo Show is ang aim niya is to address holistic well-being. Huwag niyong kakalimutan mental, physical, spiritual, financial, okay, at relation na yung ating pag-ipag-ipag-ipag-ipag-ipag-ipag. Remember, age is just a number. And life is an adventure. Maraming po sa lahat. Basta maging natin po. The Super Lolo Show.